Okay, you're a photographer, video editor, or content creator, and you have a lot of stuff. Laptop, monitors, hard drive, memory card, cameras, graphics tablets, headphones, and you've got cables coming out of your ears. Well, the Ivanki Docking Station Ultra 20-in-1 is the must-have piece of tech going into 2024. This little box of joy has completely supercharged my editing workstation, going from one monitor to two monitors with the option for a three or four display setup with a maximum of three 6K monitors and a 4K monitor all at the same time. This clever Ivanki docking station with not one, but two Thunderbolt 4 chips, it's like the beating heart of my desktop setup. So let me show you everything that's connected to this brilliant invention. So my MacBook Pro M2 Pro, that is connected to the Avanki using this very special cable, which is the dual USB-C. That fits snugly into the side of the laptop and then into the dedicated dual port on the back of the dock. This also supplies upstream power delivery to your computer without the need for a standard power adapter. Then I have my dual monitors, both 2.7K. The Asus is connected via USB-C and the BenQ is connected via HDMI, both into the back of the box as well. I have my graphics tablet for photo editing. You can see I've got Photoshop open here. That's connected via standard USB into the back. My Loop Deck editing console, couldn't live without that. It's connected via USB-C. Next, I have my solid state external hard drive. That is a two terabyte connected via USB-C with data transfer up to 40 gigabits per second, lightning fast. Then I have my Hasselblad medium format camera that is being charged with the power delivery port on the front that is now 100% fully charged and capable of 10 gigabits per second data transfer. I have my headphones connected for when I'm editing my YouTube videos. That's connected to the headphone microphone jack on the front. We also have a standard headphone jack on the back. I have two dongles connected via USB. One is for my mouse. The other one is for DaVinci Resolve Studio which is my video editor. And finally on the front, we still have a high-speed USB-C port, a standard USB, another USB-C, next to an SD card slot and a micro SD card slot. Just a powerhouse of a docking station. But here's the jewel in the crown for the Ivanki. If you have a MacBook Pro M2 Max, then the docking station can support a quad monitor array with three 6K displays and a 4K all running seamlessly together. That's four monitors. That would be some impressive editing workstation. If you have multiple projects running on different software platforms, then the Avanki would be a game-changing piece of tech. So let's look at the Avanki up close. It's about six and a half inches long and weighs 800 grams. And it has this unique floating design, which I particularly like. This allows for heat dispersion when the docking station is running at its full potential, boasting 20 ports, that's nine on the front and 11 ports on the back, which includes an optical audio port, which is something you don't see very often on docking stations. And this can be used for connecting sound bars, for instance. I'll pop a list of all of the ports on the screen now. We also have a 2.5 gigabit ethernet connection and a security slot to safeguard your valuable investment. This is actually a very slick design, not cumbersome, and I might go so far as to say quite attractive as hubs go. I'd be happy to place this center stage on my desktop with everything feeding off of it like the mothership. Build quality, I have to say, very nice job, guys. It's an all metal design, nice and sturdy, and the cables that come provided in the box, very robust as well. It comes with four anti-skid pads included, which attach to the bottom to stop it sliding about on the desk surface. Because the docking station is designed to run specifically on Apple machines, it feels like the guys at Ivanki simply had to design this product to match the quality and spec that Apple customers have come to know and expect. I personally would have matched the color to the space gray on my laptop, but that's just being picky. Now it's worth mentioning that the Ivanki docking station is built specifically for Apple Silicon machines, meaning that if you have an M1 or M2 Mac computer, then this is a perfect companion. However, if you have an Intel chip version Mac, then the Ivanki won't be compatible. So something to bear in mind. I'll pop a list of computers tailored for this docking station on the screen. I mean, if you're a digital artist, creative, designer, video editor, photographer, or like me, 
you're a bit of everything, then having a reliable hub like the Avanki to organize your workflow, keep everything ordered, never run out of connections because this thing has 20, that's a valuable piece of tech for people like myself. Now having dual screens with the option for four monitors. I mean, it puts the Avanki right at the top of the list for must have tech for content creators. Having now used the Avanki for quite a while, I can't really see how I managed before. I was constantly swapping out cables, having to decide between which items of hardware I could be running at any one time. Going from one high resolution monitor to now having two, that's a game changer in itself. And having more connections than I actually need has future-proofed me for tech that I might need to connect down the road. If you're looking for a docking station with serious creative needs, then the Avanki Docking Station Ultra 20-in-1 it's a mouthful, I know, but it kind of does what it says on the tin. It's going to be the ultimate fit for you. I kind of love it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please, 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 if you could do me a favor and subscribe to the channel, that would be the easiest way to support me as a content creator and I can keep making videos like this. Also, give us a like. That would also help out. And I'll catch you on the flip side.